How's everyone doing? This is going to be my entry into the Blue Corners subscriber giveaway contest. It's 200 subscriber giveaway contest. And I know you said don't wait to the last minute. That's just how I do things. Uh, Dennis from Denmark definitely has a great channel. Uh, does a lot of uh, steel books and Blu-ray updates and things like that. And you can check out his channel. I'll put the link down below. And very generous contest. I think he has a couple steel books that he's uh, offering up. Interstellar, which is a Dutch one. And a Spectre, which I believe is a Dutch one as well. And then a 20 pound Zavi gift card, which is really awesome. And that is just super cool. I think that's all for one grand winner. I'm not 100% sure if there's like a first place, second place. You can check out his rules on his channel down there. Either way, whatever he's doing, all that stuff is really super generous, like I said before. But his contest was basically uh, to go over the Blue Tuber Awards and talk about somebody that wasn't nominated that should have been nominated. First off, how about your boy right here? I didn't get any love. What's up? I've been around doing this for a while. I can't get some shine. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, I know uh, they said uh, the cap was 15,000 subscribers. I think that really is only like Cool Dude or What Movie 1 and uh, that dude Blu-ray updates on the regular. Uh, and I flick pick if you want to throw him in there. I've, like, I think he mostly does like vlogs and movie reviews now. Occasionally a, a Blu-ray update. But yeah, uh, there are so many people who I think should have been nominated. And for, I'll, I'll, I'll go through a list. I know I think you wanted just one person. I'm going to do a few people though. I just, I couldn't just leave just, there's so many people out there. There's so many great people that come on here every day and are a great part of the community. Um, first up, I'm going to talk about my boy Corey. Corey Reviews. He's been around here for a while. He's Even though he's a younger dude, he's an OG on here as far as the Blu-ray community and movie community as a whole. Uh, definitely does great videos, great contents, you know, Blu-ray uh, unboxings, reviews, out and abouts, things like that. Fantastic channel, really nice guy as well. And I'll put everybody's links down below so you can check them out. And I also want to do a Blu-ray Lantern. He's somewhat new on here, but he has a great channel, a uh, very nice guy, great collection. He's big into horror, and uh, he's just one that I would highly recommend. I think definitely deserves way more recognition. And I have a list over here, so I'm going to little cheat over here. Uh, Skin Slip, who's been around for a while, too. Uh, he does uh, great reviews. Uh, he does. Uh, he's big into horror as well. Great collection. I know he recently moved. Um, I, you should definitely check him out. Let's see, Trey Pacer, he's been around for a long time too. I mean, there's a lot of these OGs that I like to say on here have been around for so long who didn't get any recognition or love here, which is really surprising. I feel like a lot of the people that were nominated are mostly newer, at least that's what I'm getting from it. Um, so yeah, Trey Pacer's been around for forever, it seems like, Corey too. But those are two guys that definitely, I think are at the top of my list that deserve more recognition. Uh, Trey Pacer, really nice guy, does great updates, great collection. Aaron Penn. He's a great part of the community. He's very knowledgeable. Great collection as well. I mean, it's surprising some of these people weren't nominated. I know there's a bunch of different categories. And Dina DVD, another one that's very knowledgeable, really big into Criterion Collection. Uh, Parsnip Burger, he's very knowledgeable as well. Great collection, phenomenal collection. Uh, one, of, uh, one of my favorite collections out there that I've seen on here. Definitely check him out. Uh, Blu-ray Hoarder, I mean, he was off for a little bit, but he's back making videos. He's been, a, he's like, I think, one of the OGs of the Bluetube community. Uh, I think Bluetuber is kind of like divisive in a way because it all originally started back in the day as the, you know, movie community. And at first, you know, it was DVD updates. Then it transpired to Blu-ray updates. And, you know, I want to include everybody, really. I, I like, you know, there's people that are really more into, like, consider themselves more into the horror community, more, more movie reviews, more just Blu-ray updates. I just want to be one big community. Can't we all just get along? Movie community, that's what I like to call. And I do want to do, uh, I, I know a while back I did the uh, video for the YouTube movie community uh, thing where I'd be doing every week, we would do like a watch a movie together on Netflix kind of thing. I want to do that again. I want to start that up eventually. I, I did the like announcement video, I just never did it. YouTube uh, movie community movie club. There you go. Uh, AKA Crush. I don't believe he was nominated either. He does videos consistently, a lot of steelbook, Blu ray updates, and things like that. Uh, I know the Cinema Scumbags were nominated for the podcast, but I don't think their channels were nominated separately, and I think they should have all been nominated. Uh, Seth's been around for a while. Seth Talks Film, Nick Darden, Filmies Nick, they've both been around. I mean, it's so surprising that a lot of these people have not been nominated in these categories. Um, I think the Bluetooth Awards is a, is a cool thing. I, I like what, uh, what they're doing there with that. 
but I just think uh, there should have been some more love for some of the people that have been around for a while, especially. And uh, I've named a bunch of people right there, and I'll put the links down below for everybody. Definitely check out all the people that I just mentioned. And again, I do think it was a great thing to do. I want to see more of that. Just maybe open up the categories more. Maybe have, uh, you know, the, the you know maybe an OG, maybe like a... Uh, <laughs> Uh, a blue tuber lifetime achievement award put like visual expression up on there and you know, he's been away for a while but he's still you know he comments and stuff like that he does live streams but you know maybe have some uh you know lifetime achievement blue tuber award i think that'd be a kind of a cool fun category for next year uh but yeah those are the people and this is my entry very generous again uh dennis blu-ray corner uh from denmark all right and uh check out his channel Super nice guy, great collection, and very cool that he's doing this. And it's also another way to get people involved in the community and check more people out. And I think that's awesome. And I definitely want to do my, I used to do a video segment a long time ago called uh, The Shadow of the Week, where I would shout out somebody who I think deserves more subscribers. And like I said, every day there's somebody that I find on here new or somebody that just starts making videos um, and that is deservedly uh, worth getting more subscribers. So, so many great people in the community. and. Just want to show the love on here and a uh, great uh, idea for this contest too, Dennis. So there you go. I haven't done a entry into a contest in a long time. Last time I attempted one was for Blu-ray Hoarder. Um, I did the video for it and I was trying to edit. I was like using the YouTube editor for like an hour and then it just disappeared with all my edits gone. I'm like, what? So I just got frustrated and I'm sorry Blu-ray Hoarder that I never uploaded that. I still have it on like the YouTube private one I just never got a chance to edit because I ramble a lot like I'm doing right now and generally I like to cut that out and I think in that one I wanted to uh, I went to go grab something off the shelf that I forgot about and I wanted to put it in the video and then I just never got along to finally uh, editing and putting it on because I wait to the last minute like I'm doing right now because this uh, contest ends I think in two days so yeah <laughs> all right there you go I uh, hope everybody's doing well take care